Hello and welcome! My name is Lola and on this channel we're talking about learning English as a second language. In today's video I decided to break down the names of Hollywood actors that usually give people problems. Not the actors, their names. Depending on your native language, some of those names may seem so simple to you and others may seem like um, an impossible to pronounce, but I'll get you. So let's jump right in. And let's start with this amazing Irish actress. And before I pronounce her name, I want you to read it to yourself, check in if you actually knew how to pronounce it correctly. And before you break your mouth, if you don't know how to pronounce it, I want to say one thing. Let's look into the transcription. That's where we get all the answers. And her name is Sersha Ronan. An Irish actress, Sersha Ronan. As she says it herself, Sersha like inertia. And if you look in the transcription, it's actually pretty simple, right? You see sound er, same as in her, schwa, Sersha, Sersha, super simple. Ronan, diphthong o, stress on the first syllable, Ronan. Sersha Ronan. And don't forget, if we have first name and the last name, we'll be stressing the last name. So instead of saying Sersha Ronan, we kind of want to say Sersha Ronan, kind of accentuating the second part. Number two. Ewan McGregor. As I said before, depending on your native language, and my native language is Russian, and in Russian language they transliterate a lot of names wrong. <laughs> in Russian they transliterate it as Ivan, <laughs> like Ivan, Vanya, but it's wrong. The correct version of his name is you and, and the transcription shows it to us. You, like you, like y sound, like yellow, right? Yes, you and, you and, you and me. Oh, yeah, you and, and what's interesting, McGregor. A lot of people think that we gotta say Mac Gregor, but if you see in the transcription, it's very clear. It's just literally M Gregor, McGregor. McGregor, so simple, stressing the second syllable, McGregor, Ewan McGregor. And I don't know about you, I think he's such a talented actor. And first time I saw him, it was in uh, the Star Wars pre prequel trilogy. Obi-Wan! Number three, Scarlett Johansson. Now, some of you may think like, yeah, we kind of know that, but trust me, a lot of people actually from the Scandinavian region would mispronounce her last name, kind of calling her by the Danish version of her name, Johansson. And even though her parents are originally from Denmark, and in Denmark, I believe her last name would be pronounced as yo, yo, y sound. But she grew up in America, and American way of pronouncing her last name would be Johansson, right? O diphthong in the last name. O Anton. Johansson. <laughs> You probably thought, what did she say? I just withdrew the uh, consonant sounds, right? Johansson. And I think it's very important to know how the actor himself or herself pronounces her name. And she does Johansson, as we can see. And I'm Scarlett Johansson. And I'm Scarlett Johansson. So let's move on to the next actor, an amazing Steve Buscemi. I know, you would go like, what? I thought it's Steve Buscemi. And then you would go online and you find thousands of videos where people call him Steve Buscemi. And it's true, it's, it's partial true because it's an Italian name and in Italy he would be pronounced as Steve Buscemi. Buscemi, hey, hey. Ciao, Buscemi. 
<laughs> my Italian is non-existent, so don't give me a hard time. But the actor himself pronounces his name as Steve Buscemi sound and we could see it in the transcription and if we go on Wikipedia we actually see it as Steve Buscemi and the Italian version Buscemi and actually the idea of this video came thanks to Steve Buscemi when I saw a documentary with Hollywood actors at their early ages in Hollywood and he on his audition tape would introduce himself. Hi, I'm Steve Buscemi. And I'm like, yeah, he's Buscemi, not Buscemi. So now you know it and you can, you know, be pals with him. And I hope you've seen uh, all the Tarantino movies with him. And uh, yeah, he's great. But if you're young and you don't know who Steve Buscemi, it's okay, because the next actress is for you, Zendaya. Zendaya, actually her last name is Coleman, but everybody calls her Zendaya. Why I decided to include her name? Because, for example, in Russian language, they call her Zendaya, kind of trying to read it with a Russian manner. But in English, if we look in the transcription, we clearly see schwa sound zen, zen. Zendaya, like what a good day, Zendaya, a a a, Zendaya, Zendaya, not Zendaya, Zendaya, good day, Zendaya, have a good day, Zendaya, eh? And by the way, even though she grew up in California, her father, I believe, is Nigerian ancestry, so her father African American, and that's probably where she gets her name from. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. Zendaya, is it an African name? Okay, let's Google it. I don't want to give you the... Yeah! Zendaya is a feminine Southern African name. And I love that all these actors, they're known because of the Hollywood movies, but they all are coming from different parts of the world and they have different ancestry and that's why their names, they are pronounced differently in the different parts of the world. But we, in this video, we learn to pronounce them the Hollywood way, the American way, um, as probably they are used to be hearing it. So the next one is a hot one. <laughs> Ladies, get ready for Jason Statham. <sighs> oh my God, I don't even want to say the wrong way how people call him, actually. <laughs> Statham. <clears throat> I didn't say that. I did, but I didn't. If we look in the transcription, we clearly see sound in it. This TH sound that is so unusual to many of you that was unusual to myself because this sound is non-existent in many languages. We push the air through our teeth, pulling the tongue forward, pushing. Statham, Jason Statham. Try with me. Statham, hey. How about Jason Statham? Let's say I'm a casting director and like, who should play the lead in this movie? The movie about tough guys. Mm, what about Jason Statham? Oh, by the way, he's British. So you could, Jason Statham. Okay, and let's move on to our next amazing actress. She's a Mexican Kenyan actress, as Wikipedia helps me. And her name is Lupita Nyong'o. Let me break it down. First of all, her first name, Lupita. The stress goes on the second syllable, P, long E sound, Lupita. Lupita, right? Um, and in the end, we have the schwa, this neutral, uh, uh, Lupita, Lupita. And then the last name, oh, I love it. Because you really need to understand phonetics and the sounds of American English to be able to pronounce it. Because, you know, first of all, the first syllable, nyo, nyo, it even sounds like a little bit of Asian, but I guess it's African, Kenyan thing in it. Nyo, nyo, y sound, right? The same as in yellow. It's not J, it's y, y, 
Don't confuse letters and sounds. If you're still confusing letters and sounds, come join our pronunciation challenge. Go in Lola Speak app and learn the correct way of reading the transcription. So, nyo, nyo is the very first syllable. And then we have this ng, mm, nasal sound, mm, same as in the word doing, right? This ing ending, mm. We should feel the vibration in our nose, mm. Nyongo, nyongo, oh, nyongo. I love how it sounds. Like I would never ever be able to pronounce it without looking at the transcription. But now it's so clear. Lupita, nyongo. What's amazing is this nasal sound, it's not in G, even though it's in G, but it's kind of one mm, mm, right? You don't want to go nyongo. No, you want to say nyongo, nyongo. Lupita, nyongo. If I, Lupita, dear Lupita, if I mispronounce your name, let me know. Because who am I? I'm a joker. Ha, 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 ha. By the way, preparing this video, I found a video of myself where I was specifically explaining the name of this amazing actor. And I literally put on full joker makeup i gotta show it to you like that that's me four oh, years ago oh, it's, isn't that it's cute it's i was fun no, cares so about their i'm talking about joaquin phoenix now interesting thing if we open the wikipedia transcription of his name we see h as the very first sound but in reality people are dropping this h sound and and if you've been with me long enough or maybe gone through our pronunciation challenge you know you know this quality of h sound in american english it's kind of weak it, it's kind of like a disappearing sound so this is a great example and people are actually dropping it they don't say joaquin they actually say joaquin as if his name would start with what sound, same as Y, Joaquin, Joaquin. And we have big ah uh sound, but the stress goes on the second part of his name, keen, long E sound, tense E, Joaquin, 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 once again with me, Joaquin. And the cool part about his last name, because it has long E sound in it, and then it has neutral E. And we want to make sure they're different. So it's not Phoenix. It's not Phoenix. It's Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. 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 As a, this, as a bird who rises from the ashes. Joaquin Phoenix. And he actually was born in Puerto Rico. And his father was of English, German, and French. And <laughs> we kind of knew. But you know what? I shouldn't have I shouldn't have stopped the scene. I should have continued as by saying as everything goes as planned. And the next actress would be Florence Pugh. I think her name is pretty simple, Florence, you know, Flor, Florence, or sound, diphthong or. But then we have her last name. She's an English actress. So this P-U-G-H is pronounced as pew, same as in the word few. In this video, actually, we've talked already about this sound, y you right yeah, yeah it's actually a consonant sound pew pew it's not florence poo it's pew a few words about florence pew few pew she's done an amazing job in uh the oppenheimer movie i don't know if you've seen this one but it's nominated for an oscar this year for multiple oscars actually and the last but not the least <laughs> I think, in my opinion, it's the most difficult... Actually, he can get this uh, award from me personally. Uh, the most difficult name in Hollywood to pronounce. And um, he's a British actor as well. He also has Nigerian ancestry. So that's where his name is coming from. And the way to pronounce his name, once again, 
it's pointless to look at the letters because the letters will confuse us. We will just get lost. So we got to open the transcription. You know that, baby. You're smart and you've been long enough with me to know that. So let's open the transcription and let's see. To pronounce his first name, let's break it down in three syllables. To a tell. Chew a tell. Chew, like chewing gum. Chew, chew. Then we have schwa sound. Uh, uh. Very simple. Chew a. Super simple. And then we have tell. You know, tell me. Tell me what's up. Chew a tell. Chew a tell. We're stressing the very first syllable. Chew a tell. And then the last name. Once again, we need to break it down syllable by syllable and to pronounce it slowly. First part is edgy edgy you know like edge the edge of the table the edge of the cliff edgy and then we have a diphthong o edgy o4 what's interesting about his last name is that the transcription tells us to stress the very first syllable like edgy o4 edgy O four, actually four syllables, right? A G O four. It actually is a good exercise. A G O four. And what I like, because I found a video where he introduces himself, he really takes the time to pronounce each syllable. So instead of stressing the very first part of his last name and saying A G O four, he actually says, "Hi, I'm Chuatel A G O four." Hi, I'm Chuatel Ajio4. And once again, I'm rushing through, I'm pronouncing it fast. But if you're practicing, maybe first time, just go slow. Really take your time, break it down syllable by syllable. Chuatel. Can you pronounce it? I think you can. Chuatel. Chuatel. And then the last name, Ajio4. Chuatel Ajio4. And now you sound like a badass who knows the name of this amazing actor. And if you're not familiar with his work, um, he's done 12 Years a Slave, I think the most uh, what he's famous for. But also, currently, he's um, done his directorial debut. So he's turning into the director, too. That's amazing. I think he's great and talented. So. Today, you've spent your time with Sir Sharonin, Ewan McGregor, Scarlett Johansson, Steve Buscemi, Zendaya, Jason Statham, Lupita Nyong'o, Joaquin Phoenix, Florence Pugh, Chuatel Ejiofor. Yeah, I got it. Chuatel Ejiofor. Cool guy. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments and let me know what other actors' names you have struggles with and we'll make part two, maybe. And if you want to practice speaking English daily, go check out our app, Lola Speak app. It's made specifically for that purpose. Ta -da -da -da. So like this video and subscribe. That will help us to raise some money to fix this thing on the wall so it won't fall. I'm joking. That's it. See you soon.